Step five of this series concerns building the fins. And to do this, you're gonna need your sheet of balsa wood. Mine's a little bit thicker. I got it at Meyer. It's a little bit sturdier, but you can also use balsa wood from any hobby store. Thicker balsa wood is heavier, but it means it won't break as easily upon touchdown or when you're just handling your rocket. The other thing we need is to evenly mark out where our fins are gonna go around the circumference of a rocket tube. So we're going to use the same strategy as we used a few times by taking a strand of elastic and measuring it out on a ruler. And again, just as before, our circumference of our rocket tube is just over 5 inches, at least for mine it is. So we're going to use the ends where they come together as one mark for a fin, and so we need to make two additional marks evenly spaced along the strand for our other two fins. This is going to be a three fin rocket. You can have four or more if you wish, but just remember each fin that you add adds to the weight. And then you're gonna wrap that strand with your markings back around the bottom of that rocket tube, and you're gonna make the marks on the rocket where your marks are on the strand, like in this picture. Then you're going to need to draw out your design for your fins on your balsa wood sheet. You can see mine is longer and narrower. Uh, it's designed to actually protrude past the bottom of the rocket and the engine itself, so it can actually stand up on its end. I typically never do rockets this way, but I thought it'd be nice to do something different this time. If you need inspiration for rocket fin designs, you can Google rocket fin designs on the internet. There are plenty of designs out there. But once you have it drawn out the way you want it, you need to go ahead and cut that out. And mine's going to look something like this. And now I need to trace out two more fins using this one as a guide. And then, of course, we're going to cut those out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have your fins, go ahead and put them together. And you're going to want to sand them all to the exact same size. Once that's complete, you're going to want to hold each one up to the rocket tube to see where you need to sand a little bit more for each one individually. You don't want there to be any gaps between your rocket fin and your rocket. And once you have those edges as straight as you can, now you're going to want to take those marks and make them longer so you can guide your fin onto the rocket. You want to make these lines as straight as possible. If your fins are crooked, it's not going to fly straight. Next, you want to take super glue and you want to put a generous amount on the straight edge that's going to be attached to your rocket. And obviously you want to mount these fins close to the bottom. It doesn't have to be along the edge like I'm doing it, but it needs to be at least somewhere down there. And keep an eye out for your stopping pins. Make sure you're not going to put your fins anywhere where the stopping pins will be in the way. And then once you held your fin down for 30 seconds, go ahead and really secure that fin with additional glue on each side. and then repeat two more times. And there you have it. Your fins are complete. In the next video, we'll be attaching the launch lugs. I'll see you there.